determine the response of the following systems to the input signal x of n is equal to mod n where n varies from minus 3 to plus 3 and its value is 0 otherwise. We need to calculate y of n is equal to x of n, y of n is equal to x of n minus 1, y of n is equal to x of n plus 1 and finally y of n is 1 over 3 sum of these 3. So first let me represent x of n signal. So here x of n signal is defined as x of n, n is same as n that is mod n for n varies from minus 3 to plus 3. So here let me consider this as x of n signal here n varies from minus 3 to plus 3. So at n equal to 0 its value is 0 that is at n equal to 0 its value is 0 at n equal to 1 its value is 1. So let this is 1 at n equal to 2 it is 2. So this is 2 at n equal to 3 it is 3. So at n equal to 3 it is 3 this is n axis and at n equal to minus 1 so it will be minus 1 minus 1 mod minus 1 means plus 1 itself. So at n equal to minus 1 its value is 1 itself. So this is 1 at n equal to minus 2 it will be minus 2 mod means plus 2. So it is plus 2 and this is plus 3. So this is the representation of given x of n signal. Now let us calculate a. So a is y of n is equal to x of n. So y of n is same as x of n. So this is y of n which is same as x of n. So this is x of n that is n equal to 0 value is 0. This is 1, this is 2 and this is 3 that is 1, 2, 3 and here we have 1, 2, 3 that is 1, 2, 3. So this is y of n is equal to x of n that is solution for a. Second one is y of n is equal to x of n minus 1. So here let me consider this as b where y of n is equal to x of n minus 1. x of n minus 1. So x of n minus 1 means it is same as x of n but delayed by 1 unit that is x of n minus 1 is obtained by shifting x of n towards right by one position that is here the signal has begun from minus 3 it will begin from minus 2 with same values that is at minus 2 its value is 3 it will be like this this is 3 shifted towards right it will shift this side it will become 2 and here it will become 1 here it will become 0 here it will become 1 here it will become 2 and this signal will shift at 4. So at 4 the value is 3. So this is y of n x is equal to x of n minus 1. So now let me take c which is y of n is equal to x of n plus 1. So let me consider this as c where y of n is equal to x of n plus 1. So here x of n plus 1 is obtained by x of n by shifting x of n towards left by 1 unit. So if you shift towards left it will start from 2 and it will end at minus 4. So, so here it is at 3 its value is 3 I will shift this signal to, towards right by 1 unit towards left by 1 unit that is here the value will be this is 3 here it will be 2 and here it will be 1 here it will be 0 then we have 1 we have 2 and we have 3 at minus 4. So this is y of n is equal to x of n plus 1. So this also done. Now fourth one is y of n is equal to 1 by 3 into this all thing, signals. So this is these three signals are nothing but a b c. Now we have to take the sum of these three that is sum of these three I will call it as z of n this part I will call it as z of n. First let me draw the z of n which is sum of these three signals. So I will take this as z of n which is sum of these three. So now at n equal to 0 its value is 0. Here at n equal to 0 its value is 1. Here it is 1. It means z of n at n equal to 0 the value is 2. This is 2. Now at n equal to 1 here it is 1, 0, 2. That is 1 plus 2 is 3. 
so this will be at one value is three at a two its value is two plus one three three plus three six so at n equal to two the value is six now at n equal to three it is three plus two five here it is zero it means it will be five now at n equal to four here it is zero here it is three and here it is zero it means here at n equal to four the value is three itself the value is three now on this side we have minus one at n equal to minus one it is one plus two plus zero that is three at n equal to minus one value is three at n equal to minus two it is two plus three five five plus one six that is here we have six at n equal to minus three it is three zero two five so here it is five now at n equal to minus four it is zero zero here we have three so here we have three that is minus four so this is z of n signal now y of n is obtained as that is now i can write y of n is equal to 1 over 3 z of n so let me draw y of n that is here i can write y of n is equal to that is d signal 1 over 3 z of n so z of n is nothing but this signal so now we have to multiply each amplitude by 1 by 3 so at n equal to 0 it is 2 by 3 at n equal to 0 its value is 2 by 3 let me assume it is 2 by 3 at n equal to 1 3 by 3 is 1 so 3 by 3 is 2 by 3 means 0 0.6 here it will be 1 at n equal to 2 it is 6 by 3 that is 2 so here it will be 2 now at n equal to 3 its value is 5 5 by 3 1.6 it will be something around more than 2 less than more than 1 less than 2 it is 5 by 3 at n equal to 4 its value is 1 n equal to 4 its value is 1 and 5 onwards its value will be 0 similarly on left side we have at minus 1 its value is 1 so here it is 1 at minus 2 it is 2 minus 2 it is 2 at minus 3 it is 5 by 3 say this is 5 by 3 and at minus 4 its value is 1 at minus 4 its value is 1 so therefore I can write y of n is equal to I can represent this as at minus 4 it is 1 at minus 3 it is 5 by 3 at minus 2 it is 2 at minus 1 it is 1 at 0 it is 2 by 3 we should show the arrow mark like this it indi arrow mark indicates at n equal to 0 behind n equal to 0 that is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and it is minus 4 similarly here it is 1 we have 1 then we have 2 then we have 5 by 3 then we have 1 so this signal will continue on right side after 1 it will be 0 on left side after 1 it will be 0 so this is the y of n signal thank you for watching